My name is Kohei, and this is my presentation of learning. So, uh, one thing that I learned in MPX, or one of the main topics was like Congo. That was like one thing we did over the year a lot. So, the topic that I chose about the Congo was about what it's like to be a kid in the Congo, and how it's like, really tough. How it's like really tough to like live there, and like they have no electricity, no educations, unstable futures. And overall, just not a nice place to live. And I never realized that, I never realized that kids are like, have like such a bad life until I went more in depth into this topic, which MPX helped me do. And uh, for years, I've taken my education for granted, like everyone else has here, I'm sure. And uh, MPX helped me realize that. Um, I'd really love to go to Congo. Um, to meet some of these kids because I'm sure that they're really nice and um, soccer is really popular there and be a great way to like interact with these kids. Um, so throughout the semester, I learned many things and one is building and constructing. One of the biggest projects that we did over this year was making a table. And yeah, it's not my picture. Sorry, we didn't have a picture of our group. And um, one of the th three of the things that I learned were bu uh, building and measuring to the exact, using wood wisely, and the importance to plan your table and make a blueprint before you actually start building it. Um, when you're cutting wood, you need to make sure you need to take in factor that when they cut the wood, it's gonna cut up. It's gonna how do I say it? There's gonna be a, it's gonna cut off more wood and leave you with less wood. So you need to make sure that you take in fact with that. And also one little mistake could ruin your whole piece. I thought that my group and I did well on our table and it turned out pretty good. And even though that we did a good job, there were times where my group members got lazy and like didn't do any work. And <laughs> I think that that relates to teamwork and everybody has to be on task, working together, communicating, so like our t so that our table could come out really good. So we did end up wasting a lot of time with small arguments and like small stuff, but overall our, our table did turn out pretty good. Uh, what challenged me during this project was um, not only working with my group because they're kind of lazy, but also um, calculations of the wood. So like, what I mean by that is, for example, if you had to cut two pieces of four feet wood, instead of choosing an eight feet, instead of choosing a 10 feet, you should choose an eight piece so you wouldn't like waste anything, even though a 10 foot sounds better because it's longer. Um, and another challenge was to make the table stable because uh, our first table became, was a little bit wobbly. It wasn't that wobbly, but it was still wobbly. And our second table did end up pretty, becoming pretty good. So overall, the things I learned from um, building was how to measure wood to, maxim to get maximum amount, how to construct and build things that are stable, neat, and keeping everything organized, and not scattered around everywhere. And, and yeah, that's it. Food security. Uh, thinking outside the box to find a solution. To me, the issue of food security surprised me a lot. I didn't understand how easily our food would be, how easily our food in Hawaii could be all gone. All that has to happen is something has to go around with, with the shipment, and all our food would be, all the food that's being imported to Hawaii would just be gone. This made me a little paranoid because I learned that if something went wrong, um, we would only have food, food to last us three whole days, which is a disaster. Um, but this is only food security in Hawaii, and food security worldwide is even worse. All around, all around the world, prices of food are ra raising, which cause many people not to be able to afford food that they need. There's not enough food in the world to feed everyone adequately. The problem is distribution. Obviously, the U.S. have a sufficient amount of food, but places like Africa do not get enough amount of food. Um, they also don't have the resources. To, they also don't have the resources to get 
their own, their own food as well because they cannot grow because stuff like climate issues. Places like China are very populated, so food that they grow themselves polluted, so food that they grow themselves might not be okay. might not be healthy to eat. Um, the low E fields help me understand sustainability a little bit more as their every field trip. One thing that the low E fields do that is sustainable is that they reuse the running water from the river. When the river water comes, they, they use all the water to grow taro plants, and the taro plants, the taro plants give nutrients to the water, and eventually the water from the taro farm is returned. Uh, innovation. This summer I had to read The Alchemist. During the first two weeks of school, we started and, fin and finished on the project. Three things that I learned were planning, drafting, revising, and editing work. Wait, were planning, drafting, slash revising, and, and curiosity and imagination. I learned how to plan, draft, revise, and edit work more effectively and with more meaning. Because this project, before this project, I didn't really plan my work, but this project helped me to learn that. Also, whenever I did projects, I always went to final drafts and to, it went to the final draft instead of uh, making a rough draft. This taught me that making drafts is a useful and helpful way, helpful way to organize your information. It helps you understand what you need to change and keep. The second thing that I learned was curiosity and imagination. In this project, we had to create an infographic. Infographics are creative and fun, but also give information that's easy for the reader to read. In the beginning, it was really hard for me to think creatively, creatively, but as I went further in depth into my imagination, I got a, a original idea that was very good. This project helped me go deeper into my imagination to think of creative ways, ideas to use for my projects. The last and final thing that I learned was interacting with other readers in informed slash detailed discussions. This is also called peer feedback. They may see something that you don't see, and it may be a different of an. It may be the difference of an A to a D grade. When I gave, when I gave uh, peer feedback, I didn't think that it was going to be. Oh, when I received peer feedback, I didn't think it was going to be helpful, and that my project was fine the way it is. But after hearing about some of the things that my peers had to say, I thought about what they said, and it really did end up improving the project. Uh, my strengths and weaknesses, also the personality test. Um, personality, the personality test was very interesting to me. And um, uh, before, before I took it, I thought, how could a uh, test know what, know what kind of person I am and what kind of personality I have? And I thought there was no way that this test could know that. So I thought it was kind of stupid, but I, kinda, I took the personality test and I scored as a guardian provider. And I was kind of confused because I didn't think myself as a guardian or a provider. To me, guardians are like parents or somebody that protects somebody. But I was wrong. I read the description about the guardian provider, and one of the big thing, one of the big things was how guardian providers were were very sympathetic and helpful to people. I think that I am both of those things, and I'm sympathetic because whenever somebody's feeling down, I feel for them and I try to make them as comfortable as possible and I'm helpful because I go out of my way to help people. And uh, yeah, I finished. Okay. Questions, comments? Kaya? Um, oh. I liked how you shared a lot of your challenges because it helped me, it gave me an idea more of like what you learned, and I liked your thought process because it was just really kind of outside Seven. the box, and I just, I was never really bored. You're sitting here? Yeah, and address or answer questions or whatever. Ricky? Okay, um, I like how you explain everything, and you're very truthful, and you, um, you said your weaknesses and your strengths throughout the whole thing. And also, um, I think like two of your slides were um, not skills you learned, but yeah. it was more like facts. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like how you 
you had to choose one, what is, <clears throat> hopefully in this semester you've learned a lot about yourself and the kind of person you are. What is like the one thing that you've learned about yourself throughout this semester, um, if anything? Well, something for a positive thing. Oh, positive. Well, that's, I mean, that's good. If you, if you can understand that you're, you're a lazy person, then yeah. I mean, that's good because no, then... Before this, I actually thought I was kind of <coughs> good at working, but uh, I'm kind of lazy. Okay, yeah, so what does that mean? Up. What does that mean for the, for the uh, moving on? Uh, well, I'm like, by, by, by lazy, I mean like, I would, for like, if we were doing a work day, okay. I would do like an hour work and then the rest I'd just try to like, goof around. Like, okay. So that's not really lazy, that's just like... I start off strong and then I end kind of crap. Yeah, no, that's good. It's good to recognize. So, what does that mean moving forward? What, what are you gonna? Is that something you're gonna try and work on as we, as we move on to the next semester? Or I should. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah. But I'm asking you. You should. But I'm asking you. Is it something you think is worth working toward or not? I don't know. Because yeah, then, if yeah, of course, because uh, yeah. those two hours are important. Yeah. yeah. Do you think since your group members didn't work that hard, you have to work harder to make, uh, make up for the lost time? Um, I think, yeah, no. Well, I think most... Not really, because you just all stopped working all together at once. And <laughs> <laughs> no, when can we stop? Alright. Okay. Yeah. Alright.